Hey guys, it's Danny. Alrighty, time for a new ICU update and actually this will be the last update for the ICU because pretty soon these guys will be ready to be potted up. Alrighty, so we have good news and some bad news, but mostly good news. Let's start with the bad news though. So we have another loss. Here we have an orchid that simply depleted itself. It created a new growth here, but it just depleted itself before it actually produced roots and actually things happened really fast. This is not rot, things are not mushy, they're kind of stiff. So this is just depletion and the orchid that we lost is the Calia Intermedia Queenie crossed with Cerulea. Sad, but as I was saying, we have mostly good news, so let's switch to the good news now. Now, I will not pick them up anymore because they do have roots, they do have pretty long roots and I just don't want to disturb them, but let's start in this corner. So here we have the Pleione Maculata and as you can see, she is really starting to grow, she has quite a lot of roots inside the media. And yeah, I don't want to disturb her, but look at that pseudobulb. I told you it will be funny when it's going to grow because it has these bumps all over the place. This is normal for this orchid, but I just find it really, really pretty. Now, this is supposed to bloom in the autumn, so it's not like the other pleonies. But I did see orchids that had the new growth started and then the bloom started, so I don't know what to say. I'm new to this type of orchid. We shall see what's going to happen. Dead one? Alrighty, here we have... This is the Kelly Achianzi Lottie song, Summer Beauty. And this is doing quite fine. She started to plump back up because she has some roots growing. And when I water her, they get green. So this is nice. There is also an eye opening up. The problem with this one is that this leaf, it was damaged on transport. However, it remained green. So I'm just gonna keep it for now because anything will help. Alrighty, let's move on. This is the Selogeny Pandurata. And this one... She is growing at a weird angle actually, but she's producing roots, quite long roots as you can see. And I cannot wait to actually uh, place this in a basket. I'm actually going to try to make a vertical basket. You'll see what I mean when I move out. And of course I'm going to use inorganic media. So the basket will have to hold that media. But overall she's doing quite nice. Here we have the hmm, Lycaste Aromatica back bulb. You can see the growth is really really maturing here it has quite a lot of roots inside the media so again i don't want to disturb it i also forgot to show you the other back bulb i can disturb this one it has tiny little roots sprouting she's doing nice so i'm happy i might just pot these guys together just to have a bigger orchid inside the same pot Alrighty, next to it we have the calia amethystal gloves up pink powder puff crossed with suzy q mouthful. I do want this one to make it. She has a new growth right here. Can you please focus? I guess not. Give me a second. Here we go, we're focusing now. So she has a new growth here. I'm praying for roots because I don't want this one to deplete itself before it creates roots like the other one. It is a possibility with these back divisions or seedling divisions. They don't have that much strength. But I hope it's not going to be the case. I really, really, really want this one to survive. But we'll see what's gonna happen. Okay, this right here, RLC Momilani Jewel Tiffany. Okay, so this one, it created a root that stopped growing. However, when I water it, it's greening up, so that's good. And we also have a new growth starting here. So she's doing quite okay. She doesn't seem to be very, very, very dehydrated. She is kind of, but I'm hoping for some new roots. I'm sorry, I'm not in frame. I'm trying to look at the orchid and at the viewfinder at the same time, and I'm failing. There we have the Epicatlia uh, Elatio Pinta. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Again with this one, she created a root, stopped growing, but the root is greening up. And the growth is maturing, which is nice, and I'm sure it will create more roots. Um, I'm starting to think it's the water right now, or I don't know. I started spraying them with distilled water, and hopefully it will make a difference. And here, this is the BLC Chinese Beauty Fire Phoenix. This is a gorgeous orchid. And here we have the new growth and root starting. I cannot wait to pot these guys up. Really cannot wait. So now let's take a look at the inside to see the bigger orchids. Here is the Potinara Chief Sweet Orange. We have a new growth developing here and quite a lot of new roots growing. Again, I don't want to disturb it, 
just yet. It might have roots inside the sphagnum moss as well, so I don't want to disturb it, but she's doing quite well. So this one is a save. And this is the Cornerstone Compass. Not sure what's going to happen with this one, really. Um, she doesn't have many available eyes, just one, and there's nothing really happening at the moment. Maybe it's gonna plump back up, but anyway, um, this is a question mark. Not sure if she's gonna deplete before it creates roots, but what can you do? This is the Calia Harrisonier Alba, and we have a new growth starting right here. Yay, it focused. So, hoping for some new roots, although this one is really not depleted. She looks pretty, pretty good, so I'm hoping for a full recovery really soon on this one. Is it 9 o'clock in the morning? It is. So my neighbors decided to turn up the volume on their music because that's how they do things. Now I'm on the 6th floor and they're on the 8th floor. I can hear their music. Soon. Soon, Danny. Alrighty. This is hmm, Catlia Labiata Alvin. And this isn't doing much just yet. We are not rotting or anything and this is the available eye we have right here. But we're not plumping up. So, yeah. I keep waiting for this one. Already this is the Percivaliana Summit crossed with Centro Remolado. Alrighty, I'm not keeping this one um, airlocked because I saw some mold. So I just decided to keep it on top of the moss. This meant that the tips of the roots stopped growing, but it's okay because they green up. So yeah, they, they are still uh, absorbing water. We have a new growth as well. Um, she's slightly kind of too dehydrated. But I'm I'm pretty sure she's not in any danger, any immediate danger. I just couldn't keep it airlocked anymore because it was molding all over and I just don't want to risk it. Hey guys, do you hate having neighbors? I do. I kind of do, really. I don't have good neighbors. They don't even listen to good music, which is god-awful. Alrighty, so this is the BC My Kai Spotted Star. My pride and joy, the love of my life. She is doing beautifully. She has quite a lot of new roots growing. I don't want to disturb her. Oops, but also we have a new growth. Here we go, we are growing. You little girl will be potted up as soon as I get into my greenhouse. And this is Leo's Joins Panther. And the eye started to grow right here. Yay! And I'm guessing this one has quite enough energy to grow this one until it produces roots. I really hope so. This is a beautiful orchid and she is a big, big baby as you can see. But I'm happy the eye is starting to develop. This is Calia Maxima and of course I had to do a boo-boo. So I rotted one of the new growths. I know how this happened. I sprayed the top orchids and some droplets fell into this new growth. And yeah, it's done for. However, this growth looks beautiful still so it's good. Maybe this will be a good thing because I will cut this other growth and leave the orchid have more energy to uh, produce this other growth. Maybe it's going to be better this way, really. But, yeah, note to self, don't spray on top of orchids. I should have known better, though. And lastly, we have the Dendrobium Berioda right here. Look at these growths. He's a good boy. I had no doubt this guy is a survivor. He's looking good, so... We are all good. So now I'm just going to put back the orchids inside the ICU and I'm actually going to spray them because I didn't spray them just yet. I always get everybody out and then I start to spray just so we don't have this happening. But this is the ICU. Most of the orchids I think will make it beautifully but inevitably with some sick orchids you will not be able to save them all. But if you save the majority of them, you know, you should be happy, I think. I think it's always worth trying because it's rewarding when you're going to see the first bloom of your saved baby. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm, I'm okay with the ratio. I think I lost three orchids so far. Three? One, two, three? No, four, I think. Yeah, so I lost four orchids out of 26. We're good. I think it's a good ratio. And hopefully we won't lose too many in the future. Thank you guys for watching. The next update on the sick orchids will be in the greenhouse. So I'm looking forward to that because I'll try to arrange another type of ICU. It's not necessarily an ICU. It's going to be ventilated, but it's going to have humidity because I took my humidifier with me. It's already there, actually. So, alrighty, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the story with these girls. If you missed the history and the previous videos, I'll just add the links in the description below. So you can start with the beginning when I received them. First week, second week. I'm not sure what week this is. Two months later, I think? Eighth week? Perhaps. I don't remember. So check the description if you missed the other videos and would like to see them. 
If you like to stay up to date with my orchids and my videos and just be notified whenever I post something new, just subscribe to my channel. I post on a regular basis actually. Also feel free to leave me comments, suggestions or questions you might have about orchids in the comments section below. If you click on the left side of your screen, you'll be directed to orchidnature.com where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets and also you can talk to us in the forum section. And on the right side of your screen, you can click to watch another orchid video. Thank you for joining us. See you next time. Bye!